and welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for some Nightfall Aggro. It's going to be our first deck today. We're back over in ranked. We have two cool Lux decks to play after this one. Um, but this one, we're going to be playing a deck with a couple of cards I really like. First, let's talk about brand new card, Unto Dusk. This is going to be our first time trying this card out. Uh, two mana burst draw card. And then also, if you play this with Nightfall, you get to activate an ally's Nightfall effect. Any ally that you have in play, just activate activate its Nightfall effect, as long as it doesn't target anything. So um, th the only thing in our deck that it doesn't do is uh, Nocturnes um, grant an enemy vulnerable. That's targeting an enemy, so you don't get to do that. But everything else, like the Lunari Priestess Nightfall, you get to just invoke. Doom Beast, you can drain two. Crescent Guardian, you can grant it plus two, plus zero. Um, the Stygian Allmaker, you can give it plus two, plus zero, and Fearsome this round. You know, so you can do any of that kind of stuff. Diana, you can e either give Diana Challenger, or if you have leveled up Diana, um, give it Challenger and plus two, plus zero this round. Um, so a lot of cool things we can do with this card. Plus, it still draws a card, right? So it's going to draw a card plus do those things, including Eclipse Dragon, which, you know, Eclipse Dragon is just an awesome card anyway. But imagine having an Eclipse Dragon in play, and it has that Nightfall, and you play an Unto Dusk on this. Then you get to draw a card, create a random dragon, and also create a random Celestial. So you get three mana, or sorry, three cards for the price of two mana pretty awesome. So we're going to have uh, this new card that we're going to be trying out in here. Also playing a couple of other like pretty new cards. Uh, you know, we have Aphelios in here and a couple of other Targon cards that came in with Aphelios. We have the Sky Shadows, which I haven't really played that much of, but I'm deciding to play the Sky Shadows instead of Lunari Shadestalker. That was a tough call of like which one to play. But I felt like maybe it'd be nice to not have like all these cards need the Nightfall and the Shade Stalkers you get to play first. You, all you have to do is behold a Nightfall card to get your two spell mana back. You don't have to really worry about having, you know, this card doesn't have to be Nightfall. So I, I liked that. Um, so we'll, we'll kind of see. Sometimes you like need the Elusive Blocker though. But we're still going to have an Elusive Blocker. We're going to have the Flight in here. Another newish card from Targon. Um, you know, just another good attacking one drop for our aggressive deck here, or, you know, it can block burbel fishes and stuff, so that's also important. Um, but yeah, I wanted to try the Sky Shadows, especially with the Unto Dusk. Now we have a lot of great two mana spells. Unto Dusk, Unspeakable Horror, Stalking Shadows, Pale Cascade, which I did drop down to two copies of Pale Cascade um, to help fit in the Unto Dusk, but lots of great two mana spells, so I felt like that's kind of perfect. Plus, of course, Aphelios is making these moon weapons. They again cost two, so yeah, I want to try out the Sky Shadows. Uh, but that's kind of it. That's kind of our deck. Should be pretty good. I'm playing Withering Whale in here because of the Sharima aggro decks with all their uh, Stabby Sand Soldiers, and then because of Purple Fishes as well. So I thought that it would be a good metagame to play these Withering Whales. Uh, but that's it. Let's give it a try. We're going to go play our five games in ranked, and let's see how we do. Oh, Fiora Shen. Fiora Shen's pretty awesome. That's never a deck I like facing. So we're going to need some interaction for Fiora Shen. Obviously, like Aphelios. I think I'm going to... We don't have the attack token turn one. Do I want to play Onlooker into Stocky Shadow? I don't think we really need that. We're going to mulligan those two. Ugh. Okay. Unspeakable Horror can get rid of... Um, it can get rid of a barrier. River shape the land and give it life. Yeah, I could see them having a barrier here. It's like if I if I play this thing, then we waste the two mana that we get back. Um, I think I'm just gonna end up playing a Crescent Guardian as a three three, I guess. I want to do this undo unto dusk right now, because if I don't do the unto dusk, and let's say we draw something lame next turn, I'm gonna have a difficult turn next turn. 
Even though, no. Just this. This plus two plus zero just isn't really that important. Wow, another Unto Dusk. Currents pull them down. Alright, so we're going to draw a card to turn on the Nightfall here for the Unspeakable Horror. It's not bad. It's not, not bad for them at all. They get to redraw two more spells again. Man, River Shaper is awesome, but I'm glad River Shaper is gone. That's the good news. The not so good news is if I play Aphelios, I can't protect Aphelios from the challenge because now Aphelios is a 3 2. So. We'll go with Crescent Guardian. I want to leave the Stalking Shadows in my deck because it's my, you know, third two. I only have three two drops for Aphelios, so I kind of want to leave that in my deck. All right, use this as a Nightfall enabler. Calibrum. And then Gravitum. Um, this is not like the play to keep my Aphelios alive. Shooting that thing. And there's also that. What am I stunning? I guess I'm stunning. Yeah, I'm stunning the Cythria, right? Alright, we'll keep Cythria stunned. If you're going to block the Tasty Fae Folk, which one of these do you want to block? I want to put that card first. Probably the... F mm. Maybe the Crescent Guardian, but the Crescent Guardian overwhelms over anyway, so I guess the so I'll do the flight there. And then this, then this, then this, then that. Find peace in the quiet fell. It's just us. Who are you? Okay. It's interesting. Don't think I want to use that to take out a Fleet Feather Tracker. It's always an option. So I should make two Moon Weapons from this Unto... If I go Unto Dust the Felios, I think I should make two Moon Weapons, I think. I believe that's how that should work. Is that really worth it? Yeah. What? There we go. Yeah, I mean, definitely worth it, because I also draw a card. All right, so let's get another stun. Oh my gosh. I saw I'll only draw one card and get one moon weapon. Moon weapon will kill the Fleet Feather Tracker, so it's like, spend two mana, get something, kills the Fleet Feather Tracker, draws a card. This Unto Dust seems pretty silly with Aphelios. We got 
got a lot of moon weapons. Oh, Diana's good. Right, let's see what they want to do. They still have a lot of cards over there. River Shaper helped them out. Get, you know, they the fate of still have a ton of, ton of cards. Falls to me. Doesn't really matter what I... Doesn't matter what we phase since we don't have a Felios in play anymore. I can still play both of my champions. Okay, so I can definitely go for lethal. The moon is our queen. The night yeah, we can try killing Shen. This Diana is only going to be five power, though, right? Or is it going to be six? It's going to be just be five, right? Yeah, it's just five. This leaves me one short. If they have removal, if, if basically if they have a spell, or let's see, I guess I could do it this way. Okay. So if I go, if I challenge this way, neither of those get to block. If they use Sharp Sight, um, they can block one, take lethal. If they, so like they're dead with Sharp Sight. Uh, if they have single combat, they're dead. So it looks like they're dead. Cool. Alright, one to know. That was really impressive. Alright, we got Frostbite. Frost Frostbite. Um, Alright, I'm going to Mulligan Withering Whale. Even though there are some cards in the stack that Withering Whale can be good against. And I guess Crescent Guardian, even though Crescent Guardian's not that bad either, but you know, three mana and needs nightfall. I think we can put we can put it back. Let's lead with the flight. Get this thing going. Don't even know like how worth it this really is, honestly. Of using the one mana like that. All right, we got the flight back. I can turn on my Nightfall for like my Diana or something. The trap is set. So Brittle Steel or Elixir of Iron blows me up, but I think we force them to have one of those. So it's either it's either Onlooker and I don't really care if they Brittle Steel or Elixir of Iron, or it's Diana and. I feel great if they don't have one of those, but I feel really bad if they do have one of those. You know what I mean? So, tough call. I'm gonna go with the Diana. All right, please don't have Brittle Steel or Elixir of Iron. Okay, good. Good, feeling good. Yeah, probably can. All right, it's Aphelios time. All right, so we're gonna get Calibrum to start with. Oh no! Hmm. Stop. So I want this Graviton. Man, Unto Dusk is sweet. It's just, yeah, it's it's the uh, gifts from beyond plus draw card, right? Like that's <laughs> that, that's all we've been treating it as, gifts for gifts from beyond plus draw card. Oh. 
Okay. Let's see. I'm going to start with... How worried am I of the six mana card? I mean, I guess I'm a little worried of that. I hope they don't play it. Okay. Not the six mana card. That's good. That's good. I'm going to Frostbite the Diana. Wow, not Frostbiting Diana. That's bold. Alright, we'll just stun this thing. Yeah, you can kill my onlooker. If you want to take eight and kill the onlooker, go ahead. The good thing about attacking with the onlooker is it helps out Nocturne. They did have Brittle Steel there. Alright, so there are five. And of course, I got all these flights. These elusives. And I got the Doom Beast. I guess I'm gonna pl play this. Yeah. Yes, yeah, I, I was hoping they didn't have Brittle Steel because they didn't have Brittle Steel the turn before. This will definitely just buy me a lot more time, even if you know, even if I'm not able to kill them that soon. This will certainly buy me a lot more time. I've only played two moon weapons. I feel like I've played a million moon weapons. I'm worried about Reckoning, right? Like, if I go... If I just start playing more things, that's what I'm worried about, is Reckoning. Alright, so they killed both of those. I'll do that next turn. That will help out my turning on Nightfall. Man, we are golden. Uh, let's get Calibrum. So many moon weapons. So little time. This thing kind of struggles. Alright, get our moon weapon. Go get... I mean... I can't kill any more followers. Uh, Gravitum. Surprising they just waited on that card. Like why would you, I don't know why they wouldn't just play that immediately. Dude, yeah, this this unto dusk Ophelios combo looks pretty ridiculous. I guess we should we should probably just have three Ophelios in here and not play. Uh and uh not play the Nocturne, but Nocturne's so cool. This does seem pretty silly. I don't think I have a two drop left. 
but oh well. All right, they're staying alive. Staying alive. Staying alive. Staying alive. I don't think I actually have another one. Don't have to worry about reckoning now. Oh dang. Uh I'm gonna wait on you. I wanna unto dust this eclipse dragon. Please don't concede, let me let me eclipse dragon unto dusk. Come on, let me eclipse dragon unto dusk, please don't concede. Please don't concede. The Crescendum just helps me get through, like, my cycle faster, too. Don't concede, don't concede. You never know. <laughs> Play Eclipse Dragon. Oh, come on, come on, come on. Yeah. <laughs> oh, that's so good. Alright, we got some Empyreons. Good Reckoning. No, where are you going? Alright. Unto Dusk looks ridiculous. Alright, looks like we got some aggro here. Sivir Azir? That's not Azir. That's LeBlanc. Sivir LeBlanc. So we're definitely keeping the Dustbringer. I like Stalking Shadows. I like Unspeakable Horror. I like this thing. I like this hand. Good hand. Um, their fight spells can be brutal. They can be. Uh, this Unspeakable Horror is a good thing to pop spell shields. But then again, we don't really target stuff that much. I mean, I guess if we if we find like a Felios, a Felios target stuff. Oh, Push Axe, if, if you just resubbed, then refresh your. It didn't. It didn't. Only a fool would enter battle unprepared. I'll show the hunters. We will resist. I'll show the hunters. We will resist. Okay, so this card right here is a weapon, blade fragment, as they're called. We'll go with this guy's shadows. Fill my spell mana. Same. Calm mind and open heart greet the night. What a treat. Um if I okay, yeah, because I still have stalking shadows. Let's see next turn. No, I guess I won't be able to obliterate though. Alright, we'll just attack like this. Man, it is. There you go. Push Axe. Got it. New sub. Push Axe says buff Talia. It's a little early to call for buffs for Talia. You know, we need to keep this car playing out more, but... Um, yeah. I, yeah, it's a little early for that, yeah. Because <laughs> there was the nerf Twisted Fate guy earlier. So you're going to be the buff Talia guy. Cool, cool, cool. Um, so I want to play these flights. How how likely is it that I'm going to want to play Falling Comet this turn? I think like that's like the real question. Maybe it's not like that likely. 
Do I want to, like, Stalking Shadows the flight is another question. You know, like, we put flight back, we Stalking Shadows it. Hmm. So I can drain one from my flight to keep that thing from striking, but it looks like it won't matter. Um, it would only help level up Sivir. So yeah, that doesn't matter. What's up, Eclipse Dragon? How you doing? Ooh. Gotta love Nocturne. Alright, so would it be better if this Nocturne was a Felios, right? So like that's that's like the, the thing that we're figuring out right now. Would a Felios be better than Nocturne? Stalking Shadows does work really well with the with the flight because um Like, the Ephemeral one, will if it strikes their Nexus, it will get shuffled back before it dies. So that's pretty cool. Okay. Waste of a Quicksand. I'm not mad at it. That's like the worst card ever to hit <laughs> with that, because it'll just go back and it's not vulnerable anymore. But they don't have any good targets for my night for my nocturne though, <sighs> unless I want to waste my unto dusk. Which I guess so. I guess so. I'm sorry, unto dusk. I know I really wanted to like save you for the eclipse dragon. <laughs> this card's so weird. Okay, there we go. The... Yeah, because it, it, you can't target again with this. You can't target and get, get something vulnerable, but it does the minus one, minus zero again. Okay. And so as you saw, we got to draw two cards. We put both flights back. Card advantage in this deck is sick. Don't turn around. All right, maybe I have too many cards. This was probably a bad play. I probably should have just unspeakable horror falling commented this thing. Well, that was rude. Wasn't that thing a fast spell? Why don't you just like attack with that first, and then if I block you do that. Join the hunters, they say. It's my time. Disintegrate. So this thing leveling up. Yeah, it'll level up. Considering trading here. So we know one of their three cards in hand is gonna be a blade fragment. No. So yeah, I should have just gone with the, um, you know, remove spell shield and then obliterate, but Eclipse Dragon is just too much fun. Sorry, sometimes, sometimes I just take a worse line because it's just too much fun. And I realize, wait, I have a million cards in hand. You can't have a million? All right, we don't need Stalking Shadows anyway. Okay, let's see. So eight mana. Not, not that much, considering we have a million cards. We'll start with you. Just help turn on Nightfall. What do we got here? So I won't be able to do with anything with this thing yet, but I just want to get rid of this spell shield. So Dude, creating unto dusk is not fair. Your 
Sure doesn't seem fair. Yeah, we have too much value. <laughs> we really do. I shouldn't have done the Eclipse Dragon play last turn. I didn't I didn't have room for all these cards. I should have waited, but Mm. No one was safe. I am with you. So I'm thinking like will they block like a three power thing with Sivir and then I get to the unspeakable horror it? Like will that be something I get to do? I don't know. I guess we'll try. It's I know, just getting in with this thing, like, on defense isn't really that great for me, either. With these blade fragments. I, I'm sure the last two turns I could have done better, especially the turn before. The Eclipse Dragon turn. If I lose this game, it's because of that Eclipse Dragon turn. But, oh well. I know what I'm worth. Yep. I lost because of that Eclipse Dragon turn. All right, we're gonna tighten it up. I played pretty loose there. What do we got? Thresh Gnosis. You're gone, you're gone. Okay, we'll do better. <laughs> yeah. I was, I was just playing on fun stuff instead of, like in my hand, the shiny stuff instead of playing better. Okay. Guess we should do this. Not let them trade. Dude, we keep on creating Unto Dusk. And I am happy about it. I wonder if, like, their random number generators for, like, the different Nightfall cards right now have the Unto Dust, since it's a brand new card. I wonder if they have it, like, kind of peaked up a little bit, even though they wouldn't admit it. <laughs> yeah. But just, that's what that's my problem when I play Targon. I just cultivate cards instead of like playing to win the game. <laughs> yeah, sometimes you get into that. Just do the the shiny stuff. I am glad we're playing the Sky Shadows though as our two drop. I have been really impressed with this card. With just getting extra mana. Find your own light within the darkness. Yours is a light I cherish, Moon Sister. I cannot turn back. I will be heard. It's disappointing. I'll pass. I don't. All these cards require Nightfall, and so I don't have any enablers right now. Yuck. The soul wears away like rains of sand. I want to wait for, on the Unto Dust to go along with the Priestess, right? So I don't want to. Even though Unto Dust could be an enabler, but I want to wait for it on the Priestess. 
Yeah, I guess it's Doom Beast. I guess it's Doom Beast. Cloaked in Sylvie tried to blind me with resplendence, but they could not break me. All right, good. Dustbringer will be good for next turn. Turn on Nightfall, which I guess I could just use the dust to do it, but I can have it. No, I was gonna say I can have it for two different, like two separate turns if I just wait. Which I guess I should have just attacked first. Yeah, I should have just attacked first. Um, the Immortal Fire. Card's gonna be difficult to deal with. All right, gets rid of a, of a blocker. Putting them down to six. So I could drain them for two right now. Put them down to four. Nah. I don't really need a great beyond, also, do I? I don't really need any of these, though. Guess you never know. Yeah, double invokes a little too difficult to resist. Maybe I, you know, maybe I should just be putting them down to four, but get another invoke. Difficult to resist. Card's not bad against Gnosis. Card's not bad against Gnosis at all. So this Gnosis is gonna level up, so it gives all of my things minus one, minus zero. Oh. So yeah, I saying I should just play the onlooker for a Gnosis blocker. But then, yeah, I guess. Yeah. I guess if they have atrocity, they can kill me. That's true. I guess I'll die to atrocity. I was thinking of like playing the onlooker this turn, but I guess like the onlooker this turn probably just doesn't matter because you know I, I can play the dust pedal dust into onlooker. Yeah, that just doesn't matter though. Okay, so yeah. And they did have atrocity. Wow, how am I just throwing away these games of I really shouldn't lose. Ugh. Okay, same matchup. Same matchup. We'll see if I can do better. Yeah, I, I, our decks felt awesome, and you know I'm two and two, and I definitely feel like both of those games were winnable. That's why I can't just always look at, you know, like at at the end of this, like during the conclusion. I'm definitely going to talk very highly of this deck. You can't always just go by the the record. Down. So I 
five mana. So I can go, Di you know, Diana plus Unspeakable Horde, to try to kill this thing. These Glimpse Beyonds have been really annoying. They're really annoying last game. Multiple times. He's gonna kill something and then Glimpse Beyond. used one mana. Yeah. I guess they were kind of... I don't know what they're exactly they were scared with with the pass back. The pass back, but... Gonna be able to play a later game. Okay, no like withering whale. So the challenge Diana because of Unto Dusk, we can Basically, we can have them trade. They're also passing to me. So maybe I should just take the pass. I can't feel too good. All right, there we go. Did better that time. Focus a lot more on, you know, not just getting card advantage, but actually getting the win there that last game as opposed to the other two where like basically we won our first two games fairly convincingly and then definitely game three and somewhat game four also really focused on getting like a lot of cards and stuff really more game three uh just focused on like doing cool stuff instead of focused on winning and especially their game five trying to win um but unto dusk i have to say was much much better than expectations i wasn't really sure you know i hadn't played this card yet so i wasn't really sure about it and it was awesome yeah like this card was incredible so good with our first two champions like with aphelios it just create you know it creates a moon weapon and draws a card so it it like if you have aphelios in play it's just gifts from beyond plus draw another card which is just ridiculous because like how good these moon weapons are and so that's that's like one way that we're using on two dust quite a bit we also saw like there with the diana when you have the leveled up diana it gives the plus two plus zero twice because it, it is a nightfall card so you trigger diana and then also on two dust says trigger diana so that was really cool of how we just used 
basically a two mana combat trick to have our three three trade up with their three six pretty awesome um so yeah unto dusk pretty great and then of course you know like the lunari priestess invoke we got to do it once with the eclipse dragon i think this deck is really really solid i know we only went three two but that's why you kind of have to watch the games watch the outro um, both of our losses were very winnable especially the third one that one was definitely winnable and i was just focused on like doing cool stuff instead of winning the game um, the flight performed really really well it also performed really well with Stalking Shadows. Also, the Sky Shadows performed really, really well. So, like, these three new cards that I hadn't played in this kind of deck before, the Flight, the Sky Shadows, and the Unto Dusk, all completely overperformed. So, really excited about those. Um, I do think that Diana is the most underrated champion in the game. I think this is a really, really good champion uh, for how low of a cost it is for only two mana how it's like all like always removes like something like it's you know the quick attack challenger um it's easy to level up its champion spell is incredible it does so much stuff for just two mana is is insane like this this card i think is really really strong i think it's the most underrated champion and then you got a felios and like this new card that makes a felios even better with this unto dusk um it does make me feel like i want to play um you know we could make like a control version of this with veil temple it does kind of make me want to play like Veil Temple, Gifts from Beyond, Aphelios, and Unto Dusk, and just make all sorts of moon weapons. Yeah, that sounds pretty crazy. <laughs> so, you know, maybe we'll have to try that, you know, like Aphelios, Shadow Isle Control, Moon Weapon Control. Maybe we get some, uh, you know, if we do that kind of deck, maybe we find some more ways to draw our champions. Maybe we get some Solari Priestess in a deck like that that can... Uh, more easily invoke the written in stars to help draw more felios but yeah um this was awesome like the real question here is like is the one nocturne better than the third of felios and maybe maybe not um i do like a lot of the things that this can do you know like it does get like that uh that easy win with this but to be honest since we're playing sky shadows instead of lunari shade stalker it does like that does make it you know the flight doesn't have Dustbringer doesn't have a lot of these things actually don't really have Nightfall and so like it does actually make it more difficult to level up the Nocturne we did kind of I did kind of notice that that it was wasn't as easy to attack with five plus Nightfall allies as before um, but you know this can be another use for like another good removal spell here Withering Wheel didn't look good but we didn't really play against like those those kind of aggro decks our, our aggro deck that we faced was a one that went bigger so Withering Wheel didn't really look good these are definitely flex slots um, I like I said I have them in here because of sand soldiers and verbal fishes but if you're not playing against those as much play different you know play other interaction you know you can play like vile feast um black black spirit sorry that's what I meant don't play vile feast sorry you, you we have on two or don't play vile feast but you want to you want things that kill bigger stuff right so you can you can play like black spirit you you can play vengeance you can play veiled temple you can just you know you can play grass the undying um star shaping Another great card that could go in here, you know, that's also good against aggro. You can you can just play Star Shaping instead of Withering Whale. That could be better. Um, I mean, I guess you could play Atrocity because of how big Diana gets. I mean, I guess you could do that if you want. But Sunburst can be cool depending on the deck. So, you know, like, there's some things you can do. Heck, heck you can play Rekindler on, in this. If, if we just play, if you just play, like, a, if you play a Felios and no Nocturne, you just go Rekindler to bring back a Felios. I don't know. Vengeance. Yeah. Lots and lots of great cards in these regions you can play. but So the, the Withering Whales are definitely a flex slot. Um, but yeah, I think that's that's about it. You can play a third Pell Cascade if you want. So those are the two things to decide going forward. Do you want three Aphelios instead of Nocturne? Do you want to replace Withering Whale with whatever? You can definitely do that. All right, but that was it here for, for Nightfall Aggro. Pretty awesome. Really enjoyed this one. In fact, I enjoyed it so much that I forgot to put a T in here. All right, now it's Nightfall Aggro. Uh, those of y'all watching later on YouTube, hit that like button over there. Leave those comments. Let me know what you think of this deck. Um, the last deck we just played over on YouTube, also the Elise Azir deck, was that's a great, really fast rank up deck. And this is, I feel, I felt like this was a really good rank up deck for more card advantage. If you want more card advantage and more of a mid range game um, while still playing, while still having really aggressive elements with like the Flight and Onlooker and Nocturne and stuff like that. You know, give you know if you like playing Aphelios, give this one a try because I I think Diana's amazing. A lot of these new cards really performed well, and Unto Dusk looked great. So leave those comments. Let me know how it goes for you. How how's this deck 
uh, shaping out? How is the, our previous deck shaping out? All that kind of stuff. I'd love to hear it. All right, but that's it here for Nightfall Aggro. So thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you for the next video.